Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a ghost effect in the Fendi Photo. This is an interesting effect to use to add horror elements to images. For this technique, we'll use a few blur filters, the twirl filter, and the curves adjustment. First, go to File Open and select the image of the woman in the green dress. Second, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image. Turn the original layer off and label it Original. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and make a selection of the woman. Make sure the duplicated layer is selected first. To increase the brush size, press the right bracket key. Press the left bracket key to decrease the brush size. Also, if you select an area you didn't want to select, press the Alt key and go over the area to deselect it. After selecting the woman, press Ctrl and J. This will place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. In the Layers panel, turn the layer of the woman off. Select the layer we duplicated earlier. We're going to use the current image for our background, but we need to remove the woman from the picture. Grab the End Painting tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Opacity and Flow to 100%. Set the Hardness to 50%. Take the brush and go over the woman to remove her from the image. Press the right bracket key to increase the size of the brush and press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush. In the Layers panel, turn the Woman layer back on. Then, go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Take the Move tool and resize the woman to make her slightly larger. After that, turn this layer back off. Select the duplicated background layer. Press Ctrl and J to make a copy of it and label it Background 2. With the Background 2 layer selected, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Curves Adjustment. In the Master Channel, select the left point and slide it to the right so that it touches the beginning of the graph. Then go to the Red Channel. Add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly down. We're adding green to the image. Drag this adjustment inside of the Background 2 layer. In the Layers panel, click the Mask Layer icon. Drag this Mask Layer inside of the Background 2 layer. Grab the Paint Brush tool from the Tools panel. We want to brighten some of the image by bringing some of the light through from the original background layer. In the Swatches panel, make sure the fill color is black. Then, select the Mask Layer in the Layers panel. Take the brush and paint over some of the ground. Then paint over both the side areas to reveal some of the original color. After that, turn the woman layer back on. Press Ctrl and J twice to make two copies of the woman. Then select all three layers and press Ctrl and G to group the layers together. Name the group Ghost. Open the group and label the layers 1, 2, and 3, starting from the bottom. Turn the second and third layers off. Select the one layer. Go to the Filters menu, then select Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 35 pixels. Next, go to the Filters menu again. Select Distort, Twirl. Set the angle to negative 48 degrees and the radius to 1024 pixels. After that, select the two layer and turn it on. Go to the Filters menu. Then select Blur Radio Blur. Set the angle to 20 degrees. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. Drag this layer into the Ghost group. We're going to make some ghost eyes. Turn the three layer on in the Layers panel. Select the new layer we added. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Zoom in on the woman's face. Take the brush and make a selection of both of the woman's irises, the colored part of the eye. Next, go to the Swatches panel. Set the fill color to white. Then, go to the Edit menu and click Fill with Primary Color. This will fill the selection with white. Label this layer Eyes in the Layers panel. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Now, select the three layer. Go to the Filters menu. Then, go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 8 pixels. 
After that, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Curves Adjustment. We want to add the green color to the overall image. Make sure this adjustment is at the top of everything. Go to the red channel. Place a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly down. Then place a point further up the curve and drag it up. And this is how to create a ghost effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.